Hey everybody, this is Dr. William Clark here for Leadership Conversations. This is the show where we talk about leadership according to the world that matters to you. I'm excited that you're joining me for this podcast show today uh, for the reason that we are now launching a live of podcast version of the show that will be going up on YouTube. So those of you who have been listening to the audio version for quite some time, thank you for hanging in there with me. Thank you for listening. Thank you for all the, the listens and the sharing and the feedback you've been giving me. Now we're at a point where we can start to record uh, the show live as well and provide a video version of the podcast that we can upload to YouTube. So to the YouTube family out there, thank you for tuning in. And I hope that uh, you find all the past content uh, useful and uh, prospering, helpful in the prosperous uh, growth of your leadership. Now, let's get into the show today. I want to talk to you about missing your goals. Listen, as leaders, we all have goals, right? We have aspirations we're trying to kind of fulfill. And many of us are are achieving these goals in the context of a team environment. Now, while the team is important and while the team adds significant value to the work that you're doing, a leader that casts vision, a leader that has a perspective of the future and wants to see that future fulfilled has a personal invested stake in the success of a project or program organization and just meeting goals in general. And when those goals are not set, or met rather, when those goals are not met, it can be very disappointing to the leader who was unable to bring home the project or secure the client or to secure the contract or to successfully close out a a program for the organization or to secure new funding. Missing those goals can be painful. Now, leaders typically, they'll get over, right? There, But there are those ones that just sting just a little bit more than it should because you've invested so much into obtaining and meeting that goal. Now, the question that we got to figure out is, what do you do when you miss your goal as a leader? For emerging leaders, I need you to embrace this topic because you will miss your goals often and early in your career. Okay, this does not suggest or mean that as you get older and your career matures, that you will somehow, some way, miraculously overcome the pain of losing. No, in fact, the losing becomes more frequent. But what we learn as mature leaders is that losing is a wonderful opportunity to continue to improve our leadership, to continue to improve our organizations, to improve our teams, to improve our trajectory towards our desired future. I view other leaders that I, uh, I am league with, that I'm partnership with, that I look up to. We view failure as an opportunity for significant development and it builds our ability, increases our capacity rather, to be even more creative and innovative in the services that we provide. So the question we got to answer is what do you do when you miss your goal? Here's the first thing I want to share with you. Missing your goal will happen sometimes and it will hurt, especially if you are fully invested this is something that emerging leaders need to digest if you invest in a goal if you invest in a project if you invest in an organization if you invest in um, an employee a team member or whatever and it does not pan out the way you intended it to you will get hurt you will feel some type of way about it your emotions will rile up and you will feel pain frustration sadness anger sometimes because Everything that you gave, everything that you invested has now gone to the wayside or did not meet its full potential. Now, this takes us back next. This takes us to our next step. And that is number two. After you realize missing your goals will happen and it will hurt if you're fully invested, take a step back. Number two, and allow yourself to feel what you feel. Allow your feelings to manifest. Allow yourself to identify your emotions you want to do this because when you identify the emotion you're going through in that moment that you realize you did not meet your goal or you failed then you can properly uh define that emotion and say i don't want to feel this ever again i don't want to go through this ever again i don't want to have this pain ever again i don't want to experience this ever again if you cannot define this 
if you cannot define the emotion, then when you tell this story in the future and you try to warn your team about what you don't want to do or what you do want to do because you don't want to go through this again without properly defining it, without properly labeling it, people will find it very hard to connect to what you're saying. In order for people to get on your side, in order for people to buy in, to invest in what you're going to be investing in in the future, you need to take a step back, allow yourself to feel what you feel and define it. Number three, after you've done uh, no, after you've digested the fact that you're going to miss your goals and after you've taken a step back to say, hey, I, I feel this and this is something that I don't want to feel. Number three, share your thoughts and feelings with trusted pillars in your life. Over the past couple of shows, we've been using that term pillars, particularly trusted pillars. We define trusted pillars as people we trust, people that we respect, people that make us feel safe, people that will invest in us, people that will speak into us. These are your mentors. These are people who have been guiding you, your coaches. Okay. You want to share these feelings, these identified, properly labeled feelings and thoughts with the trusted pillars in your life, because they will have something to say to you, or they'll be the right listening ear so that you can vent and get it all out. It's not the same when you just vent to a friend or an acquaintance. You have to vent to a trusted pillar who knows what you're going through, who has been where you've been, who understands what you're sharing. Okay. Now, you know that you're going to miss the goal. You know that you got to take a step back and properly define your emotions. You know you got to share your feelings with a trusted pillar in your life. There's one more step that I need you to write down I need you to embrace and I need you to live by after you've done all of that number four what do you do when you miss your goal when the time is right when you are ready get back in the saddle and keep riding forward do not allow this failure do not allow you missing your goal do not allow miscues or missteps to stop you from moving forward you will make mistakes your projects will bomb people will be upset with you customers will walk away from you you may even be uh, disappointed in yourself after you've identified those emotions you feel after failing and after you've shared shared your emotions and thoughts and concerns with trust of pillars when the time is right get back in the saddle okay now i don't have any advice on what timing looks like or when's the right time it's different for different folks and as you mature in your career certain failures don't affect you as badly as they used to so timing could be a couple of minutes a couple of hours a couple of days weeks months years i have no advice on that but what i will say is that when the time is right you will know it and when that time is right get back in the saddle don't forget what you've been through. Don't let it hold you back, but get back in the saddle. Get back in the saddle smarter, more wiser, more intelligent, more focused so that you can reach the next set of goals. And then repeat. OK, this this is essential wisdom for emerging leaders, particularly if you aspire for a senior leadership role within your organization or an organization of your choice. You're going to need this type of discipline in your spirit, in your mind, in your thinking, in your behavior, in your emotions. If for nothing else, to provide the security for your team who's going to be looking to you for an example when things don't go as planned. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. This is Dr. William Clark for Leadership Conversations, and we'll see you in the next show. Peace.